the Philadelphia building trades. Our unions right here in Pennsylvania rebuilt this road. And I think it's important to note that every step of the way our unions not only built this road, they built it ahead of schedule every single day. Over the past 12 days, the eyes of the nation have been on Pennsylvania. We showed them what our grit and our determination are all about. We showed them good government in action. And this is what we can do when all levels of government come together to get the job done. I want to thank President Biden. We would not have been able to move this quickly without his administration's assistance and without his personal attention to this. He was on the phone with me multiple times. He flew over this site. The president has been fully engaged, and we thank him. I also want to thank Secretary Beat Buttigieg of the Department of Transportation, Administrator Batt, who joins us, and my buddy, Mayor Mitch Landrieu, who leads infrastructure work for the President of the United States. Their collaboration, their resources from the first moments of this challenge were absolutely imperative. And of course, let me thank Mayor Jim Kenney. Mayor Jim Kenney and his administration, his team, worked in lockstep with us every step of the way. He's been personally engaged. We've been on the phone together. We've worked together. Mr. Mayor, thank you for helping us get All this right, done. I want to take a moment and thank my team, led by the great PennDOT Secretary, Mike Carroll. Yeah. When the Secretary and I got that call 6, 7 o'clock that morning, the Secretary arrived on the scene 12 days ago, early in the morning, and I want you to know, he has literally not left. The man's been working out of a truck making sure that this project got done. Secretary Carroll, you're an awesome leader. I'm proud to be your colleague. I want to thank and recognize Colonel Paris, the Colonel of the State Police, and all of the women and men of the State Police who join us. We're going through a tough time as the State Police. As you know, Lieutenant Wagner is working hard to recover after being shot this weekend. And, tomorrow, and, and Tuesday, we'll be laying to rest, uh, we'll be laying to rest Trooper Rougeau up in Erie. This is a tough moment for the Pennsylvania State Police. Yet every step of the way, Colonel Paris and the women and men of the State Police have been there for us and for this project. Colonel, thank you for your leadership. I want to also thank Director Padfield of Pima and his terrific work together with Philly OEM. This is what leadership and innovation and service truly looks like. And while the live stream you all watched every day showed the amazing hard work in women and men of organized labor and the Philadelphia building trades, there were a lot of folks behind the scenes doing this work as well. I want to thank the PennDOT engineers for their brains and their ingenuity. I want to thank the lawyers from the Office of General Counsel led by Jen Selber who cut through the red tape. Lawyers cutting through red tape wow. to get things done. <laughs> Boyer says, wow, it's true. And I want to thank all those who did less visible but critically important work for all of us to achieve this success. Let this serve as an example of how Pennsylvania can do big things. That when we come together, when we're determined, we can get stuff done. And one of the most exceptional things that I've seen over these last 12 days is that everyone wanted to help. Everyone wanted to be a part of this. From SEPTA stepping up to add capacity and welcome new riders, to Pocono Raceway lending us their jet dryers to ensure the road stayed dry so it could be paved and striped. Bet y'all didn't know I was a NASCAR guy. <laughs> to Philly staples like Wawa and Star Restaurants delivering shorties and burritos for the work crews at the shift change to the thousands of folks who turned on the live stream to check in on our progress and cheer on those who are doing the work. This was a moment of civic pride for Philly and Pennsylvania. We all came together and we proved that we could do big things again in Pennsylvania. 
We all came together and we showed that when times get hard, Pennsylvanians show up for one another. And we showed that when we work together, we can get shit done here in Pennsylvania. We sure can. <laughs> the guy that's been quarterbacking this for us, who, as I said before, has been here from the beginning, has been our PennDOT secretary, Mike Carroll. Mike, I'm proud to welcome you to the microphone. Thanks, Doug. I appreciate it. Thank you. Yeah, Mike. Good, Mike. Good morning, everybody. What a great day we have here today. And I've made so many wonderful friends during my two weeks here in Philly. And it starts with the Philly Police and Fire Department and emergency management folks. They've been wonderful, Mayor. They've just been wonderful. And the building trades folks behind me and the folks to my right, they are the real heroes here. They constructed this in a skillful and speedy way. And I'm eternally grateful for their dedication. And it's sincere. Will and your guys, Rob, thank you for all that you did. And a shout out to the people of the city of Philly. They all stepped up. And they may not have stepped foot on this project and on this site, but they did their part. They tolerated the detours. They adjusted their work schedule and travel times. And they helped out in their way to make sure that we could get through this together. And they did a really good job. So thank you, Philly. What I will say is this. We celebrate today with the opening of this structure. And I hope the people of Philly will continue to be partners and drive through this safely. As you all know, we have three lanes in both directions. They're 11-foot lanes, a little tighter than normal, but still not out of the ordinary. Please take your time going through this zone. A lot of effort and energy was putting in, put into getting this done for us in a quick way. I know everybody goes fast sometimes. I do too. But the reality is I hope everybody can just go through this at a safe speed and keep each other safe. And while we do that, PennDOT and our team and the Buckley team will continue our efforts to construct the facility on either side of this structure in an effort to restore 95 to its full capacity in the very near future. I'm eternally grateful to, for everything everyone's done to get us to today. Governor, thank you for your wonderful leadership. I work for a wonderful, wonderful boss. And so I will say this. Thank you to all who had even the smallest part in bringing us to where we are today. It's a day to celebrate. But the work continues. And, Mayor, with your team's help, we're going to get for, get, go forward even faster. So thank you. Thank you. Mayor Kinney. Thank you. thank you, Secretary, and good morning to everyone, and thank you for joining us all here today. I'm extremely thrilled to be part of today's reopening of I-95, to have the opportunity to praise all the people who have made it possible. Special thanks to Governor Shapiro for his leadership. I'm telling you, you've, you've just done a great job. Really have it. I'm looking forward to continue working with you. The White House, U.S. Department of Transportation, Federal Highway Administrator Bat, PennDOT Secretary Mike Carroll, the Pennsylvania State Police, and every state worker who has rallied around our region. I'm incredibly proud of the workers who stepped up to support this impressive rebuilding project, and the city employees who showed up every day to ensure the safety and well-being of residents, commuters, travel and travelers throughout this process. I'd also like to thank the Office of Emergency Management, the Streets Department, the Philadelphia Police, Philadelphia Fire Department, the Water Department, the Commerce Department and its business service team, SEPTA and our city's utility providers. Each of you has played a critical role in getting us here today. In less than two weeks, this site has gone through a notable transformation, proof that ingenuity, determination and teamwork leads to solutions. This reopening will bring great relief to the surrounding community and we will continue to provide updates and support as the process of reconstructing I-95 continues. So thank you again, everyone, and congratulations on a job well done. And I want to say the Biden administration, uh, they're really smart and they really get things accomplished. And one of the reasons they get things accomplished is because they hire ex-mayors. Um, and uh, <laughs> I mean, Pete, Pete Buttigieg, Marsha Fudge, Marty Walsh, and my friend, uh, former mayor of New Orleans, Mitch Landrieu. Thank, thank you. <laughs> thank you, man. Mayor Kenny, thank you so much. Governor, thank you for having me. And to all the men and the women and all the folks in Philadelphia and Pennsylvania, this has been a hell of a job, a job well done. So on behalf of the president, let me thank you. The president called just a little while ago and spoke to the governor uh, to thank you for all of the work. You know, not too long after this happened, I think a couple of hours, our team was on the ground working with the governor, working with his team. Secretary Buttigieg was here. As you know, the president came last week. Shailene Bott, who's with us today, is a federal highway administrator, was here. As soon as this happened, the president called me and he said, Mitch, he said, this is the most important project in the country. He said, move heaven and earth to get it done. 
So I'd like to say, Mr. President, I don't know about heaven, but we moved a hell of a lot of earth <laughs> to make it happen in a short period of time. So let me just let me just again thank him for his incredible leadership. We were happy to provide the funds, break down some of the uh, stove pipes, and get through some of the regulations and work with a great team. When the president ran for office, he said that he was going to do three things. He was going to help restore the soul of the nation. He was going to help reunite the country, and he was actually going to build the backbone of this country. And that's why that $1.2 trillion in rebuilding the roads and the bridges and the airports and the ports and the waterways and high-speed internet, clean air and clean water, and a clean energy economy would be so critically important. But talk is talk. Passing legislation is passing legislation. But getting it done is another thing. And building a team to get it done on the federal, state, local level, one team, one fight, one mission, one country, Governor, is the important part. That is the vision that works. And all of you here today have made that vision a reality. And I was a legislator for 16 years. I was a mayor for eight, and I was a lieutenant governor for six. I know what really good mayors look like, and I know what great governors look like. And I'm here to tell you, you got a great mayor and you got a great governor because that's where it really happens. And so I want to, Governor Shapiro, thank you for your incredible leadership because it takes somebody actually making sure that the great teams on the ground actually hit their marks and leadership really matters. So Mayor Kenny, thank you for you. Mike, thank you for your leadership. And of course, none of what they do would be possible. None of what we do would be possible without the men and women and all of you who have helped make this happen. I was having a conversation yesterday with another guy and he said, listen, when I'm called into service for my country, I show up. And Governor, I can't think of a better example of the people of America, Philly grit, Pennsylvania grit, showing up to demonstrate to the people of America what it looks like when we come together. Because as the President has always said, and Governor, you just alluded to this, when we come together, there is nothing that we cannot do. We are the United States of America. The President says that in every speech that he has. But there's talk and then there's walk. And this is the best demonstration that we've seen. In 12 days, at 12 o'clock, I-95 is going to be open. Folks are going to be getting to and from work. They're going to be able to pick up their kids. They're going to be moving safely to and from where they need to go and demonstrate to the people of America that we can do big things together. On top of that, the folks that are with union labor that are standing me behind me on behalf of the president, let me thank you for all your incredible work. The president always says the middle class built America and unions built the middle class. And so on behalf of the president, please let me extend his thanks to you. And of course, to all of the folks, EMS, to all of the law enforcement that have worked on this on the, on the local level and on the state level, you have demonstrated once again what running to the fire literally looks like so that you can save our lives because all of us together make up that beautiful united front that the president talked about when he said if we do things together, there is nothing that we can't do. So this was an important first step. We demonstrated what we could do to each other. And now, as the president would say, it's time to finish the job. Governor, thank you so much for your leadership. Thank, and you, thank you for having me. Thank you. thank you. You know, you've heard me say this before. I'll say it again. I'll always protect the union way of life here in Pennsylvania. I think we now know why, right? <laughs> union women and men built this road, and they built much more all across this commonwealth. Before we take a couple questions and get this road reopened, I want to say a special thanks to our elected officials in Pennsylvania who have been here every step of the way, led by Speaker Joanna McClinton from Philadelphia. I want to thank her. I want to thank Representative Gallagher. I want to thank Representative Nielsen. I want to thank Councilman Driscoll. Uh, and I want to thank Senator Dillon. They have been here every step of the way looking out for our friends and neighbors in these communities. Gang, thank you so much for your leadership. And with that, um, I'll take a couple questions. Is that the guy who was passed out? You were the one passed out, right? We got your road reopened, man. There you go. I saw you on the internet. Man, you're famous. Holy cow. Holy cow. Let me take a couple quick questions, and we're going to get this thing open. Lauren? Governor, you're about to open this to the public for traffic to go across it. What tests did you do and what criteria did you need to make Ms. sure it's safe? Sure, we've covered this ground and the, the Department of Transportation has a lab that tests all the materials 
every bit of material used to construct this facility has been rigorously tested and used in multiple applications uh, for many years in Pennsylvania and across the nation from Maine to Arizona. So uh, all of the standards, the highest standards that exist for our, our structures across the state are employed with this facility as well. Secretary Carroll, you said yesterday at 1 o'clock that you expected to open over the weekend because of important safety measures needed to be put in place. Were those safety measures put in place, and did you go more quickly to do this today at 1030? There's nothing special about 1030 today or noon when the traffic ro rolls across 95. This road is being opened because it's completed. It's safely completed and it's ready for traffic. And I don't think the people of Philadelphia want to wait one more minute right. to put a vehicle across 95. What changed, what changed yesterday between 1 or 1.15 and 5 o'clock last night when you decided you would open this up? We decided to open this road when it was completed safely and available for traffic. And we completed that overnight. I have been as honest as I could be with every me member of the media since I got here. And that is, we continued to work. In fact, I heard, and I think some members of the media heard, the Buckley people uh, working on the, the guide rail application installation five minutes before the, the, some of the cameras were set up. So the reality is uh, we worked to the last possible minute to get it done well and safely. It is. It's ready for traffic. All right. I'm going to... Uh, just a matter of months. How did we get here today? What we did was we came up with an innovative solution to open up uh, the road, three lanes north, three lanes south, as quickly as possible, be able to do it safely, and now build the bridge around it and keep traffic flowing while that work goes on. All right, now listen, I'm going to ask you all to turn your attention here to the northbound lanes of I-95, where the first vehicles are going to cross the new section of the critical highway and we are going to be led by Engine 38 of the Philadelphia Fire Department, who were the first ones on the scene last Sunday. Let her rip. Let her rip. 